Well, and we it. all need to be here for each other. Mm -hmm. Okay? I may not, I've heard a few things here today I don't agree with, but that's okay. Because I support that somebody else does. Okay? And what I also have heard from New York is that, um, that as time goes, it's going to get a little more impacted. And right now, people are listening. If you listen to their statements that politicians are making, they're very defensive and they're very much on the attack. That means they are scared. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, really, we need to just, uh, you know, we need to keep doing what we're doing. And this is important, okay, to help us all understand this. Okay? I personally... You know, the separation of corporate estate is very important to me. I, I was incensed about a year ago when I found out the Supreme Court decided how the corporations can give money. And basically, it gave a vote to corporations. It pretty much wiped my vote out. You know? And, you know, that's uh, that's something very important to me along with a lot of other issues. But okay. it's it's a broad thing. Yeah, over here. I just, I just agree. I think that we just need to stay broad because I think it's impossible. We could all, I think we just need to stay broad. But he just pointed that out as... I know, but I'm just agreeing with him okay. and her and saying keep it broad. That's okay. all. In other words, if we focus in too quickly, we'll... we'll, 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 we'll yeah, okay. There's a man who tells that maybe he's but that's because they're the Hi, my name is Paul. Hi, Paul. Keep it broad. What motivates people is justice. If they feel that they've been cheated, they're mad. And they've been cheated up, down, sideways, six ways to Sunday. So focus on injustice. People are grabbing our money, grabbing our rights, grabbing everything from us, and we're suffering. We need justice. Okay, good. That's Research. Good. Research all the yes. conference. People have to put a reserve that's illegally set up. I mean, there is. What I think we're doing here today is we're rediscovering and redefining democracy. And we need to take a second look at what do we have? What do we want to keep? What do we want to change? I'm so sorry I can't hear you, darling. I'm sorry. What do we want to keep and what do we want to change? We want to redefine, we want to rediscover what we have and what's good. And I think that it's it's important to hone in and define and have a pure message. Like when you had the Vietnam War, everybody wanted to end the war. There were a million things that went along with that, that, that was included in that. But they had that central core message that everybody could rally around. So and it's the same thing with civil rights. George Will just said on TV this morning that those protests in that era caused Nixon to win and a right-wing, you know, reaction. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know about that, but I'm just saying, just mention it here, so I'm just saying to you that it helps us if we have a general, a very general core message to all rally around that's general enough that we can all go around and say, okay, we can hang on to this. But it encompasses a whole array of things. Would mm -hmm. you call what you want a revolution? Do you want a revolution in America? It is the American yes, like Revolution it. Part 2. Yes. Is this the second American yes, Revolution? Yes, it is. Is, it's is anybody? A peaceful, a peaceful revolution. Yeah, a peaceful a peaceful revolution. revolution. Okay, a peaceful, a peaceful revolution. revolution. I don't think I've ever seen one. Well, we do French Revolution. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, the world is evolving, and we are learning about peace. We're learning new things. So a peaceful revolution could be possible for us today as long as we don't lose sight of the goals. Right. Okay, so that's, that's a, like a mission. A that mission is our statement. mission. I have, I'm sorry. Hi, I'm John. I have a copy of a mission statement I think you can use as a foundation. I want to share it with all of you, and maybe we can expand on it or, you know, with, between all of us, elaborate on it and see. But this is... Um, as we gather together in solidarity to express a feeling of mass injustice, we must not lose sight of what brought us together. We write so that all people who feel wronged by the corporate forces of the world can know that we are your allies. Mm -hmm. I just wanted yeah. to share that with all of you. So it gives us justice us a, at uh, the hands of corporations. And it gives us a foundation for our mission statement, and then we can expand on it at least. Hi, I'm Ken. I think it's very important 
that we never let ourselves slip into a mindset of victimhood. We are all victimhood. all equally empowered. Right. And a lot of the reason we've been taken advantage of or our rights have been disenfranchised is because we've been sleeping in front of the TV, so to speak. Remember that we're all powerful. At the core of each of us is an equal individual who is equally powerful. And think about that as we come up with broad ideas of what we're dissatisfied with and never slip in too far to the us and them. That gives them the potential for an advantage to win over us. So who is we? Who is, who is we? we? Each individual. We're the, we're the 99%. percent right. Absolutely. But you don't see many people from the right here, are there? No, it's okay. Is it anybody from the right here? I mean, no, no, because they're brainwashed by the misinformation. Yeah, it's really high. It's 99%. Yeah, yes. There are people. There are people. It's 99%. It's relevant. Yeah. 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 My name is Cheryl. I'm from... Well, actually, from Los Angeles. I was a city planner in Ronald Reagan Library City, okay? And I, I, have, I have studied this economic mess in the last six months, and I don't, it is not left and right. And what it is is a private, privatization that actually started with GATT, and the Uruguay Round of GATT, to, take, to, to globalize and privatize. And we saw that in government by privatizing government and, and contracting out. And so... So, I'm, so with regard to this whole Wall Street thing, why is that not right? This, it's, I, it's, it's, it's not left or right. Why is, why is privatizing well, let me, not let me right? Finish, finish. Let me finish, and I'll get to this. And so people, so people would ask me, well, what happened? Why did Wall Street do what they did? And it's like, I don't know. Let me find out. And so I studied credit, credit default swaps, um, mortgage-backed securities. I was friends with the vice president of Mortgage Brokers Association, and I explained that to people. They're like, oh, that's crazy. I mean, I don't understand that. So I just, I put together five YouTube videos for, it's just easy to understand what happened, who did it, who participated, and in fact, it's both parties that participated against the middle class. Yes. 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 Right, both. And it, I'm horrified. And so I, I'm in the other direct action. And I told them, look, I, I'll send this out via the web page so you, you guys can just look at these YouTube videos and then understand it, how it started with GAP and how it ends up to today. And so that's all. Now. It's it is corporatocracy, absolutely, to benefit the few. Right. So, so the demon is corporatocracy. No demon. No demon. Okay. Okay. In other words, the corporate people can come in here too. They should be here. They really should be here, if they know what's good for them. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Bill. Um, Hi, Bill. Uh, there's two things I wanted to say. Uh, one being uh, is that a lot of people were talking about is about not getting specific about our message and trying, you know, trying to exclude people because we are the 99%. And 90% of what democracy is, is just showing up. So I think we need more feet on the ground. So I think we should, whatever we're doing, just get a lot more people in our next whatever it is. And the other thing uh, to expand on, hopefully this doesn't get it more specific, but corporatocracy, yes. And a lot of it has to do with uh, the whole uh, Milton Friedman uh, school, Chicago School of Economics. I don't know if anybody's read about that stuff, but it is, it's truly a grand design and we've been doing it all over the world. South America, China, everywhere. It's, it's quite amazing. Uh, just, I'm in the middle of Naomi Klein's book, uh, Shock Doctrine. It's a good read. Yeah. So one of the, I think one of the things you're pointing out is that there was this idea of economic theory. Friedman or Keynesian while there is no economic theory, and the reason there is no economic theory is because you might have you have to have a theory of human nature, and you have to have a theory of the universe, you have to have a theory of society, because that's what economics pulls together. You'd have to be God Himself to know what that theory is. So we don't have a theory of economics, and maybe we should try to work towards a better a better operating set of principles theory. I think that's maybe it's part of his point. Mostly my point. Okay, who's next? Are we ready to go back? Well, let this gentleman. Oh, did you want to? Sorry. Thanks. I, um, 
I think most of us are here because it's called Occupy, and uh, we're here in part in solidarity with the people in New York. And it's Occupy Wall Street for a reason, because corporate influence affects everything that everybody else has said here today. So that is the one underlying theme that is common to all of the grievances that have spoken, is corporate influence in American government. Um, and I think that a simple way to sum it up is that our representatives no longer represent us. They represent the corporations. And in, in the case of certain uh, political affiliations, it, it just happens to coincide, coincide with corporate America. But the bottom line is that um, the representatives do not represent the middle. They represent one street, extreme or the other. They might come to the center to get our votes, but as soon as they get that vote, and then they do whatever they got to do to keep that position in office, they go back to their extremes, and they're just not representing the middle. Yes. Okay. Hi, I'm Miranda. I'm pretty loud. So cool. Um, cool. Great. Wonderful. I love what everyone has to say so far, but um, the only thing I have to say is I don't think that we need to be pinpointing different parties. I don't think we need to be just like we've been saying, keeping it broad. And uh, if we're going to go with a mission statement, just as another example, I think we can pull from the Bill of Rights. <laughs> You guys might know it, so we the people, in order to form a more perfect union, uh, and so on and so forth. I mean, I learned it back when uh, Schoolhouse Rock was on when I was a kid. I know the whole thing. Um, God, you're old. That's a show already. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, that's just my two cents, the whole Bill of Rights. Really what we're here to do is because we are the people. Yes, it's corporate America. Yes, the healthcare system. Yes, politics. Yes, we don't have any money. Yes, we have too much money. When I think those are too specific and we can all come together like as a people, I don't know where we can go with that, but I feel like that's... Well, what you're saying is there's a lot of the American system that stays. That's about as perfect as we can make yeah. it. Right? But is it all perfect? But it's gone away from that. If we it's can bring it back perfect, to the Bill of Rights, if we can bring it back yeah. to it's the Constitution. So the purpose of this Occupy is to perfect the American system. Is that, no, is that a level condition? It all. Level it's more, more perfect. No. 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 Mike Jack. Mike Jack. That's not what this is all about. It's not about perfecting the American system. It's stopping the gaming of the American system that's fucking the, uh, the rest of us. That's what it's about. Stopping the Constitution. Correct. I'm not saying perfecting anything. No, but I mean we are. We're Americans yeah, for America. That's why aren't the, the companies going with the law of the land? Yeah, they're not. We all have to. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you, guys.